Welcome back to Ozarks Live. Can you believe this Arts Fest is this weekend? We, none of us even. I mean, you can believe it because you have to be there helping put it together. Yeah. But I can't believe it's time for that. Sarah Abley is here from Springfield Regional Arts Council and artist Elaine Johnson joins us as well. Ladies, thanks for coming on. Well, thank you thank so much you. for having us. We're it's very excited. This time already, I can't believe it. It is, it is. Um, this weekend, May 7th mm -hmm. and 8th from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. We will be on Walnut Street just having a great time and supporting all of our <laughs> artists, friends, and musicians, and local nonprofits. Love Arts Fest. Yeah, and, it, and it, it, this really is kind of a blowout weekend. It is just a lot of fun for, I mean, I little children mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. people like me who just kind of shuffle around and barely get places. So it's for everybody. So much it to is. see. It is. So yes. much. How many booths this year? Um, we have 90 artists this okay. year, mm -hmm. four stages. And I don't have a final number on nonprofits because we keep adding more. Good. So it's very good. exciting. That's We're really supporting good. all of our local friends that way. Well, it feels like the unofficial kickoff to summer in a way. It is. Definitely spring, summer. Now, on a day like today, you're thinking, no, it's just, no. It, <laughs> this weekend, it's going to be great. It's just going to be great. Talk about what you do, Elaine. What are you bringing to the, uh, to the Arts Fest this year? A lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I make all kinds of stuff. I make some dishwasher magnets. Um, I've got some notepads. I've got some notebooks with lots of fun uh, stuff. I make lots of artwork, all kinds of watercolors. Very pretty. So you're, yeah. you know, you studied where, you went to Missouri State, went correct? Went to Missouri State, yeah. Okay, and you yeah. are from around here. You're an Ozarker. Yes, I am. Yeah, I grew Very up here. Good. Yeah, so I'm from here and I do it's the cutest. lots of. <laughs> Is this your dog? It's not mine, no. That's not I do a lot of pet portraits. Oh, so I, I paint a lot of pets. That. Yeah. <laughs> it's that is the fun. cutest. A lot of animals, all kinds of stuff. So yeah, I'll have tons of fun stuff and lots of stuff for adults and kids. <laughs> and this is what's so good about Art Fest is you get to speak to, to meet the artists and you know, pick their brain a little bit if you want to. It's it's great meeting everybody. It's yeah, it's very nice. I get to meet a lot of like new people to the area, students, uh, people that are maybe looking to become artists themselves. So it's a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. So I know people are really really looking forward to this because you know the last couple of years has been just not quite. I mean. It's been good, but not quite the same. And mm -hmm. I know that at one point, you know, people are a little worried about getting out, and now everybody's getting out. The fact that it's outside on Walnut Street, out in the open air, everybody's ready, don't you think? Oh, 100%. Yeah. Um, you know, in 2020, we had Arts Fest, but it was a virtual, virtual. event. Virtual. Mm -hmm. um, thanks to the support from our community, we still had a great turnout online, but it wasn't quite the same. Um, last year, we had a little bit of rain on Sunday, and we had special COVID-19 precautions in place. Um, this year, we do have some extra space between booths, and we do have two flights during the day, um, just for ease, which you can buy your tickets online now or at the gate, either oh, one. Oh, gotcha. Um, but we're fully expecting normal turnout to record numbers. We're super excited for the weather and everything oh, coming okay. up. Still Wait. plenty of stage entertainment, mm -hmm. music, mm -hmm. kids stuff. So we have a really exciting craft that we're doing for the Arts Council tent. Mm -hmm. um, in a special kids corner, we have Arts Council Future Artist t-shirts um, that we will be tie-dyeing on site and sending home. So I'm really sorry, parents, you're gonna have to wash the t-shirts. We can't do that portion for you, but- <laughs> You'll be fine. Free t-shirts for kids at Arts Fest um, at the, the craft corner that we've got set up. So it should be really, really fun. Well, it's, it is so much fun to get out and just run into all your friends up oh, and down yeah, the street. Always. You know, <laughs> you can spend the better part of the day going from booth to booth, and then there's always a place to sit down, grab a little shade, mm -hmm. maybe grab some food. There's always going to be good food. There's a ton of food vendors. Um, we have Heart of America has their beer tents and Coke tents set up. We've got amazing music. Um, we've got Jin JX, Mark Barger, just to name Ooh. a few. Um, right. And our stages start music at 10 and go to 5. So we We've got a, just a ton of different musicians for everybody to see. Pets so still welcome? Fun. Pets are welcome, yes, yeah. yes, as <laughs> long as they're family friendly pets. Well, so, yes. but yes, we will have those. Uh, we have special Arts Fest pet bandanas that you can also par purchase nice. at the t shirt booth. Um, so, yeah, basically a little bit of something for everybody. Okay, good stuff. <laughs> and the gates open what time? 10 a.m. On Saturday. On Saturday and Sunday, and we're there till 5. Okay, Sarah, Andy yeah. Lane, thank you both. Thank, thank, you. thank you so much for having us. Have a fun us. weekend. Weekend. <laughs> weekend. I know. We'll, we'll be, be right, right back. back. Jinx.